guys, today I'm going to be showing you my daily hair routine from what my shampoo and conditioner regimen is to all the products that I use and how I do my daily curly curls. And it's going to be really fun and I brought along a little helper today. She's so cute. Just your daily dose of taffy. All the products that I use are going to be linked down below for you guys. So if you guys like anything and want to try it out, you can. And yeah, so let's get started. So I start by washing my hair and then I let it air dry a little bit. And normally I don't let it air dry this much, but I was having some camera difficulties. But I just started using this new brand to wash and shampoo my hair and it's called Monet. My hair is not soft because I use heat on it a lot. But when I use this stuff, it made my hair so soft. It's a miracle working brand, I swear. When I was debating whether to buy Monet or not, I looked up a lot of reviews and a lot of people said that when using these products, their hair will grow like three to five inches within the first like two months because it just cleans out all the gunk that's clogging the, the hair pores and it just lets it grow and it makes it thicker healthier stronger it's a little bit on the pricey side so I followed their Instagram and I kept a lookout for like deals and stuff and they were having a deal where you get an extra shampoo and a blowout cream for $90 so it's five really good things for 90 bucks so it wasn't that bad so I finally just bought it and I'm so happy that I did so this was one of the extra gifts that came with the deal. It's the clarifying shampoo and it's a little small, it's only four ounces. So this stuff you use to like get rid of gunk in your hair, anything left from like products or just like dry shampoo gets in the roots so it really just cleanses out all the gunk in there. And then it also comes with the Revive shampoo. So this is the bigger bottle, the main shampoo that it comes with, and it's for volume. And what I've noticed with this stuff, it doesn't make your hair dry at all. It actually hydrates it while giving it volume, and that's really rare. I normally see that volume products kind of dry out your hair because it tries to like get everything out so that it has nothing holding it down. But when doing that, it like strips it from its oils and stuff. And so uh, that hasn't happened with Monet, for me at least, what I've noticed. And then there's the Revitalized Conditioner. And so this I use every time I wash and it makes your hair so soft. It gets out all the tangles and I have really tangly hair. And then um, this is my favorite thing of all the things, all the things, this is my favorite thing. It's the Replenish Mask. And so this is what sold me when I tried the samples. I am obsessed with this. You leave it in your hair, put it in, leave it in for like 10 minutes so you can walk around and come back in and wash it out. This is just a miracle worker. It makes your hair so soft. It just helps dry and damaged hair. Just, oh, it's reflecting on my face. Anyways, it just really helps the dry and damaged hair and I love it. And so once I let my hair air dry for a little bit, I use It's a 10 spray. I read about this on a lot of beauty blogs. I've seen it everywhere and so I finally gave it a try. And it basically does 10 things. I'll put them up on the screen for you. And I just spray it in. It smells so, so good, you guys. It smells amazing. So I just spray this in my hair all over and then I let it sit for a minute. So after I use It's a 10, I get my Monet blowout cream and I pour about a quarter size in my palm and then I rub it through my hair. And this is supposed to smooth, protect, and control. So it kind of just like grabs those flyaway hairs and makes it smooth and look soft and just like look like healthy hair. And then I use a wet brush. If you guys, oh, there's a lot of hair in this. That's embarrassing. If you guys don't have a wet brush, it is the best. I don't know what it is about it, but it doesn't hurt when you take out the tangles in your hair. And you just brush right on through. It doesn't hurt at all, and it doesn't break your hair like normal brushes do. After using this thing, I honestly can't go back to a normal brush. I even have a mini one for my purse. And so after I put these products in my hair, I blow dry my hair and I just started using um, T3 micro products. I don't know if you guys have like seen those on Instagram. I've seen them everywhere. They're super cute products. They're like white with rose gold on them. So when I blow dry my hair, I use this bad boy. This is the Featherweight Lux 2i and it's really cute. It's white, like I said, it's all rose gold all over it, rose gold buttons. Rose gold, I don't even know what this is, but it's cute. This is supposed to actually be healthier for your hair than letting it air dry. I don't know why, but I just remember seeing that online. And using it, I've noticed that my hair doesn't get all frizzy after I blow dry it, like how it used to with my old Hot Tools blow dryer. And it also doesn't get as hot. It's almost like they, they capped out the heat at a temperature that they know would dry your hair, but wouldn't 
burn it. So I'll just blow dry my hair with this like normal. I don't use like a roll out brush or anything. I don't know how to do that. I kind of wish I did, but I just don't know how. So one trick that I do when I blow dry my hair to add a little bit more volume, because my hair tends to be really flat, is I'll flip my head upside down and then I'll blow dry it from underneath. And that way when I flip it back over, it just kind of adds a little oomph to it and I like doing that. My hair is kind of thin so it doesn't really take that long to blow dry, but I do love this blow dryer. And after I'm done blow drying, I use this like brush. There's a lot of hair in this brush too. I'm sorry guys, I don't know if this grosses you out. I'm gonna go clean it really quick. <laughs> I'll clean. This is like my absolute favorite brush. It's just like a rolling brush, but it's just like really soft bristles. And I love this because like I said, my hair is really thin and tangled, so it's easy to break. Especially after blow drying when it's a little bit more tangled, I just use this and run it over my hair and it's so easy on my hair. I really think that everybody should own one of these brushes. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too, when I part my hair, I have a little trick to add volume. Instead of parting it straight how I like it, so normally my part would go more this way, but I just take a little chunk like this and put it over on this side. And then once I'm done blow drying, I'll brush it over and I'll put that chunk back on the side where it belongs. And it just helps to add a little bit more volume up here. See how it did that? It's not as flat. And it kind of has like a little arch because it was used to being on this side when I blow dried it. So when I move it over, it just kind of has more volume to it. These sleeves were not the best idea for this video. Whatever. And after I blow dry my hair, I use um, Chi brand Iron Guard. And so I just spray a little bit of this in my hair, mist it over, and then I brush it through because it just adds a little bit more heat protection because like I said, I do use a lot of heat on my hair. All right, so now my hair is ready to be curled. And like I said, I just started using the T3 Micro products. And so I got their convertible collection because I curl my hair every day. And so when I, when you curl it every day, it kind of gets boring like to have the same types of curls every day. So this collection comes with one base and five different barrels and they're all really different. There's polished curls, defined curls, undone waves, tousled waves, and loose waves. So they all come with like different shaped barrels. There's wands and then there's ones with clamps. So just having like this collection, it's so nice. And this is not sponsored or anything. I just seriously love it. So the one that I use for my everyday curl is this one. It's called the Polished Curls. It's like a 1.25 inch barrel, I think, and it comes with a clamp like this. So I have the barrel and I start with the clasp open and then I grab, I always start with this chunk of hair. I don't know why, but I always do. So I just grab this and then I open the clasp and have the clasp in the front of my hair like this and then I clamp it and then roll it and I always have my thumb on the clasp. So I'll like curl it up and then unclasp it a little bit to the bottom of my hair and then roll it up. So it starts at the top and goes to the bottom so it really curls the whole curl. So it's like not just at the bottom because I hate when hair is flat on the top and then super curled at the bottom. I just like hate that. So I do this on every hair and I curl all of them away from my face. And these barrels curl hair really fast. So it doesn't even need to be on your hair that long because it just curls it up. Go and you have little curly curls. And I don't know what it is about these things, but it, they just work so well. During my second day hair, I won't even have to touch up my hair because these curls do last for so long and they don't fall throughout the day. My mirror's on the floor, so don't mind me looking at the floor. I'm an amateur, okay? I like to do my bangs more of like keeping the barrel sideways like this. So I'll take it, clamp it at the top like I always do, but just curl it up like this with the with the barrel sideways and then I just like gently release it so it ends up being like that and I find that when I hold it up like this it just kind of like falls nicer to the frame of my face it kind of goes outward like this how you can see and yeah I like doing them like that so then I'll move on to this side and this side is just exactly the same thing except the curls are just going the other way Yeah, my hair curls really fast, it's kind of thin. So once it's all curled, I just like to shake it up with my hands. I like it when they like, just kind of blend in the big waves. And then I'll even go through it with my rolly brush like this. 
And like I said, my hair gets kind of greasy, and so I always use dry shampoo on the second day, but I like to use a little bit on the first day just to kind of prevent any of the oils from forming. And I found ever since I started doing this, my hair is always less greasy the second day, so I end up using less dry shampoo. And my favorite dry shampoo is Batiste, and this is the UK's number one dry shampoo. And I remember when I read that on the bottle, I was like, well, if the British people like it, it must be nice. And they're right. It's seriously my favorite dry shampoo. It's probably like $15 a bottle, but I found the first bottle that I used at TJ Maxx for $10. And then I was at Costco and I found two bottles this size and a mini bottle like this for only $11. Lastly, um, I do tease my hair a little bit because my hair is really flat and thin. I've just been doing it forever. I know that it's not the best for your hair, but I just do it a little bit just to add a little oomph. I just get my wet brush and then this hairspray. This is Dove Style and Care Extra Hold Hairspray. And I just, all right, my sleeves are going up for this one. I just grab the top middle portion of my hair like this. That. I might have to lean down a little bit for you guys so you can see but I just grab like the top portion like this and then I spray a little bit of hairspray and then I grab my wet brush and you just kind of go where you sprayed your hairspray and you just brush down a little bit and you can be really gentle it doesn't have to be harsh on your hair I think that's what kind of breaks a lot of people's hair but you just do little gentle brushes downwards and then you lay it down and you can already see it just like adds some volume right here and then so I'll lay it down and I'll just like brush it over so that you can't really see the tease at all because you don't want people to know that you tease your hair you know it has to look natural whoa someone's calling me say hi YouTube hey YouTube what's up <laughs> okay I'll text you in my door Sorry about that, little interruption. And I can scoot back and pull my sleeves down. Get yourself together, man. Then I kind of just brush up a little bit through my hair just to kind of add volume, a little finishing touches, you know. Then I get my hairspray again and I just spray it over the top. And this hair, oh. <laughs> I inhaled that. And yeah, so that's my daily hair routine. I really hope that you guys like this video. Again, all the products that I use are linked down below, except for this product. You can have this one. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have any suggestions for my next videos, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I hope that you guys have an amazing week. Bye, guys.